meet as an event which hasn't been won by Britain since uh, since 1924. Eric Lidl, it was. Uh, his victory in the Paris Olympics obviously was the subject of a very famous uh, Oscar Oscar winning film. You could make an even better film about his whole life. Truly incredible. We spent a lot of it in China. Jill Douglas has got the story for us. Eric Liddell, one of Scotland's sporting greats and an Olympic gold medalist in 1924, wasn't actually born in Britain at all, but here in the city of Tianjin to missionary parents in 1902. Known in the East as Li Ai Rei, he spent the first five years of his life in Tianjin, living here in this street, and the Chinese have always claimed him as one of their own. He's revered here as China's first true Olympic champion. Little is perhaps best remembered for a race he didn't run rather than any he did. In Paris, he was favourite to take gold in the 100 metres, but because of his religious beliefs, he refused to run in the heats which were held on a Sunday. Instead, the race was won by teammate Harold Abrahams, while Little concentrated on the 400 metres. It was by no means his best distance, yet he won gold in world record time. His story is immortalised in the film Chariots of Fire and continues to serve as an inspiration to generations of Olympians. I wonder as an athlete if I would have the same conviction in my faith that he had. That's why I admire him, you know, he said I won't run on a Sunday and uh, there'd be many excuses to say, oh, well, God doesn't mind me running, this is the Olympics and he stood by his faith and anybody who has a conviction that strong, I mean, my heart admires that, I respect it, I, I wish somehow my lifetime would have crossed with his and I could have met such an individual. Eric Liddell's passion for athletics continued and he could have challenged for gold at future games, but he chose to remain here where he helped to build the Ming Yuan Athletic Stadium. Now some say it's modelled on Stamford Bridge, his favourite running track. Well, after his Olympic triumph, Little returned to Tianjin to concentrate on his missionary work and, I believe, taught here at the Anglo-Chinese school. We think he taught science and sport here. We think we're at the right school. Oh, thank you, thank you. Do you know of Eric Little? Have you heard the name 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 Eric Right. This is when he comes back to... Yeah, uh, in 1925, he came okay. back to Tianjin and started in uh, a new learning institute of education. Now it's currently called 17, number 70 Middle School here. in Tianjin, here. And in 1936, in Berlin, Olympic Games, he was uh, invited to be the general coach of Chinese Olympic delegation. Okay. And during the uh, the war with the Japanese, and Eric Little uses wisdom to save a lot of people the Chinese life, and send the Eighth Route Army people to the uh, church hospitals to do the medical assistance. In 1943, Eric Little and other uh, foreign uh, civilian was taken by the Japanese army to Weifang Shandong refugee. This is the internment camp where yeah. he eventually died. Yes, and in 1945, uh, it's in uh, February the 21st, he died in the refugee because of brain cancer. And number 17 middle school, all the teachers here and students here will uh, cherish his spirit of love to athletes and Olympic spirit and will transmit the spirit to other people. And that's it. And now we're here to do exactly that. Yes. To learn about everything. Yeah, that's fantastic.